Hello everybody and welcome to a playthrough of Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Lounge Lizard, more co colloquial known as Larry One. So without further ado, let's get started. So I type in Sierra Bingo. Now if you're not familiar with the Larry games, to uh, to avoid any minors from playing from playing these games from playing these games because they're considered risque, uh, Al Lowe, the creator of uh, Leisure Suit Larry, uh, decided to implement this. Uh, as we'll see in a second here. This uh, see it says that can some <laughs> Surgeon General's warning can some of the plumbers from the school for some children. So it says you have to uh, so you, you have to say how old you are, and not only say how old you are. He, he said. Sure, to prove that you're, uh, you know, you're what you say, or you have to answer these questions. So basically, they, to assume, like, they try to ask you questions that no, uh, no kid would know. But to, but we're gonna bypass this scene. If you, here's a cheat. If you hold Control Out X, it'll, it'll let you bypass this um, scene. But it's only, only this time. But you can do as many times as you want. So we just wait for it now to work. Okay. So now we're, we're gonna start the game here, so I'm gonna bump the speed up, put lower the volume a bit, because we don't really need all the volume. There's not much music in this game, so don't worry about it. Uh, there's not actually a lot of sound in this game. So, uh, who are we? We are Leisure Suit Larry. Uh, uh, wait, is it say anything? Uh, no, uh, I don't think it. Okay. Basically, so uh, we are Larry here, and Larry is on a quest to lose his virginity at the ripe age of <laughs> 40 years old. And we start the game off in, in yeah, we start the game off in a in a, in a bar called Lefties. So the the city we're in is called Lost Wages, which is an obvious parody of Las Vegas. And anyway, Larry is a, is a, is a lovable loser because like he's, he's always trying. As you'll see as this game progresses, he always tries to find love and he always gets screwed one way or another. But that that that, that never stops him. And <laughs> so anyway, let's get started. Um, common to all Sierra Sierra games love to kill you. So um. Oh, looks like I have some save games here. It's okay. We will start a new game. New game. So Sierra games will not shy away from killing you if you like. If you go like, it, it, like if you go exploring anywhere, like and like you don't know what the hell, what the heck you're doing, you can easily die. So if you don't save, you're screwed because there's no um, like checkpoint system. So uh, I'll show you an example. So right now, if I walk in the street here, a car. Watch, see, a car comes in, smack, smashes, dies. I'm two seconds into the game already. I'm dead. Oh, so then it, it, then the game laughs at you and says that you know. Oh, oops. Okay, so we will restart. Um, so I'll try to show as many deaths as I can. So, so what are we doing in front of let this barn? Okay, so first thing to do in all this game is see what we have in our inventory. So we have a wallet here which has 94 bucks and credit cards which don't work in this game. We have our breath spray. You'll see periodic in the game. Larry will. Um, the game will bother you and say, oh, your burst is most terrible and you have to use that. And you have a watch. Uh, I'm told that if you don't find love by a certain time, Larry will, uh, to paraphrase, uh, Tia, TF2 will, uh, will uh, big uh, farewell crew world. So uh, we, so basically we're on a time limit. So anyway, we're in front of Lefty, but before, uh, I think there's another, am I mistaken? There may be another, is there another death scene? Here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, see, look, if you don't get away from this guy, See, there's another death scene. <laughs> oh, Larry gets beat to a pulp, and uh, so I was watching it beat to a pulp. I should mention that this game came out in 1991, I believe. Oh, yeah, he's, he's still getting beat. The guy left. <laughs> and Larry's dead. <laughs> Again. Larry, when are you going to stay out of these dark alleys? You screw up a dumb spin trying to set it in her body. So there's a little bit of a joke here that when, when, sometimes when Larry dies, you'll go through like this uh, Sierra sort of, as you'll see in a second here, this um, <laughs> this kind of Frankenstein lab where um, where they'll... Uh, oh, well, actually, that's pretty gruesome. Oh, they just like kill him. <laughs> wow. They just mutilated him. And so you see, there's like... In the original game, you, you'd see like... Uh, King Graham and like this room and you see like uh Roger Roku from Space Quest but now well actually this is pretty gruesome look at that <laughs> oh boy oh stuck in the assembly line <laughs> oh boy
Now you know why you have to go through it to me and press restart. <laughs> now I'm at the beginning of the game again. Okay. So we're gonna restore here, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna walk into lefty. If you uh, if 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 you're thinking there's like um there's like a key here, you, you the game kind of um hit absolutely nothing. What do you expect? A key? <laughs> you know, because most uh, I guess most adventure games at this time had like and st uh, things under the doormats, and you, most people like I don't know they they used to keep their keys under their doormats. So anyway, we're gonna go inside here. Now we're we're wearing lefties right now, and um, you notice uh, you notice this one guy over here looks very familiar. A large large man sits beside the only woman. Left. He's obviously thrilled to sound his own way. I'll see if we. But he says nothing to you, but says it continues. Yeah, in case sounds familiar, if he looks familiar, it's because this is uh, Ken Williams, the former. Uh, this, this was the old, original CEO of uh, Sierra back in the day, and Aldo loves to put references to Ken Williams in all of his games. I'm not sure. Like in all the Larry games, like. Even the original, this game and the remake, he's in all of them. He's in Larry 7, and he, you'll see him split, it's a bit of a spoiler, but you'll see him at the end of the game too, so. Anyway, in the meantime, let's um, let's try to talk to this girl here since we're trying to find love. Uh, let's uh, let's see if she'll uh, go out with us. Uh, she may be a great looker, but think of that. <laughs> let's try to talk to her. So anyway, Larry always says, uh, so, <coughs> excuse me. He always says, hi, my name is Larry, Larry Laffer, and she goes, yeah, who cares? <laughs> I'll my boyfriend take care of you when he gets back from the restroom. Oh my god. So these other guys, uh, yeah, nothing, uh, and whatever. <laughs> so the, if, you, if you read what these guys say, there's like a lot of in-jokes in this game. Anyway, so we're gonna, we're, we're gonna have a drink, we're at the bar here, let's take a drink. And, uh, we'll talk to Lefty, cause, um, because uh, we want to buy something. I don't know what happens if you buy the, uh, anything else, but for the rest of the game, you need to buy some whiskey. So, so you'll see, left here prepares our whiskey. Very comedically, I might add. Those pants fall and blah 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 blah. Oh, that's a ridiculous. Now. Oh, no, not Ken's looking. Uh, let me five bucks, please. You flip five bucks under the counter. So, um, another in joke about adventure games is that every time you collect items in your inventory, uh, the question is, where do you store your uh, <laughs> all these items? Well, so uh, Larry makes uh, Al makes a joke here and says, you know, instead of drinking it, you you decide that you 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 you're gonna you're gonna care for the rest of the night. All right, so so let's get up. Oh no, sorry. Um, so let's get up. And uh, let's see, now we have the whiskey in our inventory. Yep. Uh, yeah, you, you need this whiskey. Like all Sierra games, you need all the items you can get to progress. If you miss like one item, you, you have potential not be able to complete the game. So we're gonna go in the back here. And you notice this drunk guy on the floor here. And let's go, let's go talk to him. I'm sorry, how about you and me have a little drunk? <laughs> oh, I'm so bad. This is, oh, okay, he didn't say anything. So basically, uh, oh, clue. Um, since he wants a drink, why don't we give him our, our whiskey glass that we just got? Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> ah, that hit the old spot. You know, you must, you must be my only friend in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so terrible. I'm gonna give you my only possession. <laughs> my only possession. <laughs> my only possession. <laughs> my only. Oh, it's just like a million. All I got in the world. Besides, what's a guy like me need with a television remote control? I didn't hear that sounds mean something good, so, uh. Now you have a remote control for seemingly no reason. Anyway, there's a roaster on the counter, which we're gonna nap to while we're at it. And now let's go to the bathroom. So we're in the bathroom now, and and you'll notice that there's no guy in here, which means she, that girl, that that lady, foul lied to us. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna save here because there's another death scene here that if you didn't know what the heck you were doing, which uh, most people would not know what the hell they're doing. This, you, so anyway, so you go to the bathroom, and Larry, whatever, he starts reading, and yeah, and you you get a point. So yeah. You feel great relief. <laughs>